That's it. Let's carry on down here. Well, let's just let it go out of view first. Might go out into the open there. That is the black-backed jackal, scavenging little fellow. Isn't that nice? In the grass there. <laughs> let's carry on. You still got him there. I'll try and go around the corner and get us a bit closer. But I don't think he's going to allow us to park next to him or her. And it is an abiding mystery of the Sabi Sunt as to why there aren't more jackals. As I've said to many of you before, I've in all the places I've worked in the low felt, the jackals have been almost ubiquitous in every single clearing. Every clearing, clearing like this would have a pair of them. You see it again. Okay. Carry on up the road here. There it is. Hello, Zaz. There's the... can you see the jackal there? You're wondering about whether or not this is a member of the wild dog family. It is, absolutely. All of the dogs are part of that family, or most of them. The wild dogs, in fact, the European wolf, the jackal, the coyote, they're all part of the same family, and that is the canids, and this is absolutely one of them. But it's not the same genus, and they certainly couldn't interbreed. Interestingly, this is... Apparently, this well, it is the same genus as a wolf. A wolf is Canis lupus, this is Canis mesomelis, and so it's actually more closely related to a wolf than it is to a wild dog, which is Lycaon pictus. So it's got a slightly different name and different genetic makeup, and that's why they've got different bot uh, botanical names, different zoological names.